Okay, girly. I'm in your house. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited for you guys. All right, I'm going to pan around here. Look how pretty that is. They've got it so nice and clean. I'm coming to the left here just to, this is your front guest bedroom. Just kind of, the carpet looks so good. Oh my gosh, and it, it's a nice, um, you know, nice thickness and everything. It's not that real thin, cheap carpet like is in so many of these um, homes that are, you know, in this price point. Um, here's your the closet, the double doors here. These are some of the higher quality um, bifold doors too. The finish is really nice on them. And you've got a ceiling fan in this room. Flooring looks great. Here's your vinyl. Look at these countertops, how pretty they are. Hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. It is absolutely gorgeous. Got the pretty doors with the panels in. And then here's your other guest room. Closet in this one's a little bit smaller, but we knew that. Still plenty of space, especially as a second guest room for a kid or whatever. And this one um, does not have a fan, but we knew that too. Okay, so coming back into the main living area, I'll take you to the garage in a minute. So here's your floors. agent so that they'll have it you know in case there's anything any repairs that need to be called in or anything like that so the appliances are beautiful okay you can see your yard out back at some point you may want to see that a little bit further out you know they only do so many pallets of sod and um, it doesn't go but so far so I would say maybe at some point and I don't know that I would do it for a renter you know I think what they've got there will grow in probably enough that um you know that it'll thicken up over time but um once you move in you might want to see it a little bit better when you you're here to water it and that kind of thing floors look so good here's your ceiling fan here, light fixture in the front foyer. Everything looks great. Really, really pretty. Ceiling fan and master. Master's nice size. Look at this closet. That's awesome. And then here's your master bath. Dual vanities, beautiful. Love this cultured marble stuff. Got your stand up shower here. And your frosted window over the tub. The light in here is so nice. And your flooring again. Your view out the back window there. Really pretty. Sarah, this is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And we'll walk around the outside. Your shutters are still not in. He's calling about those now. He said he just has a really hard time getting those little short ones and keeping them in stock. But um, that'll be on the punch list for things that they have to finish. The garage is so nice. You know, I didn't even um, think about the fact that they're one of the few builders who actually finishes the interior of the garage. So many of the builders now leave it with just sheetrock only. But this is so nice. Got your cool down attic here. Garage door openers in. Hot water heater and your safety guard there to keep people from running into it. There's your um, 
few spots for electrical box. Here's your washer dryer connection. I will line over that, which is really nice. And now, like I said, I'm going to walk around the outside. Everything looks really good. Okay. I've done some nice little planning for you here. I've got some lantana and bushes. I'm going to back up. Driveway looks good. electric meter. All those cables are for um, the cable TV. Outside spigot. Got the floodlights on the back of the house, which is really nice. I tell you, they throw in a lot of a lot of good extras here. Pretty cool. Nice little patio for your grill and barbecue. And then coming on around. Oops. I hope I'm doing a good job videoing because it's so bright I can't tell what I'm showing you. <laughs> nice, good size HVAC. Condensation pan upstairs. There's another outside spigot. And then back around to the front. You have a pretty little tree in the front yard. Really nice. Okay, I'll call you later.